Visit Lee Blaney's lab at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and you'll likely catch a faint whiff of barnyard. It's understandable. The contents of this bucket may look like dirt, but it's actually poultry litter. Poultry litter is a mixture of poultry manure, just chicken poop, extra feed that may not have been eaten by the birds. It could also be feathers. It could also be some of the soil on the floor of the poultry houses. That litter contains nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which plants need to grow. In fact, many farmers use poultry litter from their chicken houses to fertilize crops. And that's where the problem starts. Runoff from fields carries excess nutrients into rivers and lakes. Too many nutrients in the water feed algal blooms, which suck up oxygen. That, in turn, causes dead zones and massive fish kills. So if it doesn't go onto the fields, what's a farmer to do with all that litter? Poultry litter is a waste stream that currently we're kind of just throwing a lot of great nutrients and other resources away. In Blaney's view, the solution is recycling. With support from the National Science Foundation, he and his team have developed technology to extract the nutrients so they can be sold. And so what we're trying to do here is really a win because we're protecting the environment and we're also generating a potentially new revenue stream for farmers. To do that, they make a poultry litter surrey and pump it through these tanks. They add acid and carbon dioxide, which pull the nutrients into the water. They separate out the leftover runny solids, which look like, well, you know. Then we take that water, we bubble air through it, and we add some base and we bump the pH back up. When we get to around pH 9, we're actually able to precipitate a molecule called struvite. Struvite is a valuable, slow-release fertilizer that farmers could then sell. And those leftover solids? They're still rich in carbon. Farmers can spread it on their fields to help the soil hold more nutrients and water. The result is a win-win-win for farmers, consumers, and the environment. Faith Lapidus, VOA News.